Welcome. Welcome to Wine of the Day. Uh, today we're featuring our first white wine as the weather's starting to heat up a little bit, springtime in Wisconsin. And we have a uh, Sauvignon Blanc from Chile, uh, one from Castellieri del Diablo, uh, the uh, castle of the devil. Uh, but the wine tip of the day today is in matching wines with food. Um, you, you've heard this many times before, red wines with meat and white wines with fish. But that is not necessarily the case all the time. It depends on your spices, your sauce, what you're doing with that dish, with that uh, uh, protein. So for instance, Sauvignon Blanc, if you're doing a beef carpaccio, which is really, really thinly cut filet, you'll often add olive oil, extra virgin olive oil and capers and a little bit of lemon. Uh, a Sauvignon Blanc or a crisp white is a great combination with something like that. And similarly, if you're doing a, uh, a fish dish, let's say you're doing salmon and you've got a uh, richer sauce, maybe something that's like a, 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 a sauce with uh, capers and tomato and a little bit more spice to that, you want to go with a red wine, maybe a Pinot Noir or something a little bit lighter. So don't stick with that formula of red wine with meat, white wine with fish. Uh, go with the spices and also go with your heart. If you really like something and you, you like white wine, then drink it. If you like reds, you'll find a way to enjoy it with, uh, with a fish dish if that's the way you want to go. But back to the Sauvignon Blanc. Um, great wine, another simple twist off. This is a 2017 Sauvignon Blanc. And the, uh, the winer, winery here, uh, uh, owned by the head group Concha y Toro, uh, Castellera del Diablo, is just a nice, affordable, uh, you'll get these wines in just about every grocery store, but they're good. They're decent wines. And wines from Chile also are some of the best values on the market. Uh, the wines are um, solid. The Chilean soil has got this real dark rock, almost an, uh, a, a deep earthiness to it. But then there's a crispness to this as well. You'll also notice I'm pouring the Sauvignon Blanc in a smaller glass. This would be used for a red wine. It's a Bordeaux-style glass, but reds for the most part. But in whites, you don't want to let all of the um, acid out. You don't want all the tannins to leave the glass which this wine, this wine glass would breathe a little bit more quickly, uh, which you want in a red wine. But you want to kind of keep some of that tightness into the glass. Lots of lemon, a bit of limestone you're getting here in the nose. Citrus. Just a, a, a nice crisp aroma. It's almost a Sauvignon Blanc as far as the crispness goes, but with the weight of a Chardonnay. It's a little bit thicker, but just a really, really nice, simple summertime, springtime glass of wine. As the weather warms up, we tend to go in that direction. What you want to match this up with? I love Sauvignon Blanc with scallops. Uh, because this has a little more weight to it, you could even go with a heavier, buttery sea bass, which would work really well. You want to kind of back down in the sauces there a little bit. You don't want to have uh, something much more than lemon or herbs and spices uh, because that will dominate the wine. But just a great wine in the warm weather. Um, I think it's a terrific little value. You can get this at Tenuta's in Kenosha for $16 for two bottles. It's two for one, $16 special. Uh, that's $8 a bottle for those that uh, want to do the math but a really, really nice value. Any wine under 10 bucks that is tasty and you can drink is spectacular. And when you're also having people over, you have a group of 16 over for dinner. You've got your higher end wines that you want to serve with certain courses maybe with dinner, but to get you through the night, you don't want to be opening up $50 bottles of wine all night long. So this is a great little alternative, something to have on the side. Uh, thanks for joining me again. Sauvignon Blanc, our first white in our wine of the day. And we'll be back again tomorrow with something very, very different. Cheers.